Hey guys, it's Elizabeth here and welcome back. Glad to have you here. And today I wanted to come on to just do a video about just journaling in general and what journaling means to me. Now, if you've been on my channel for any length of time, you know that I do a type of journaling called the Fobonichi, and that's basically an illustrated journal. Um, I enjoy that type of journaling. I enjoy many types of journaling. However, with the Fobonichi, it's a combination of, um, what's it called? A combination of, you know, being creative um, and journaling as well. So keeping track of memories and also, you know, decorating the pages, making them pretty, just having fun with that. Um, in my Fobonichi, I typically write down things that we're doing in our lives, you know, in my family's lives, um, daily activities. I don't put my innermost thoughts into it. Uh, I don't, you know, vent in it, so to speak. Um, it's basically just a journal to keep the memories of the things that are going on in um, my family's life. And during my flip throughs that I do, I typically consider those more like vlogs, only you're not seeing my face, you're just seeing what's going on in my daily life through pictures and words. Um, now there are so many different types of journals. As you can see here, I have many. I don't, th these are just a few of them. <laughs> I don't work in, uh, some of them I don't work in daily. Um, some of them I do. And so, yeah, there's just, there are so many different ways and reasons for journaling. I just have happen to have a passion for journaling. I think it's important to write things down. Um, and so, yeah, I just wanted to come on and show you just some of a very few of the journals that I use. Some of them you might have seen, some not. Um, and I use them for a variety of reasons, okay? So this is like one that I've been using for um, getting my thoughts down, like uh, Bible um, studies and prayers and, and things like that. So I use this one for that. This is just a store-bought journal. I believe my mother-in-law bought it for me. And, um, yeah, so I use that for that. I don't work in it daily, um, but I do work in it when I am, you know, when I find a scripture I like or um, I'm doing a Bible study type of thing, so I use that for that. Now, this one here, some of you guys have seen. I had made this, um, I don't know, last year sometime, I think, and I call it my inner explosions. Now, this is where I keep my innermost thoughts. Okay. And let's see if I can show it here. It looks like this. <laughs> All the pages look like that. Okay. Um, it's kind of hard to do this one handed, but that's what they look like. Okay. These in these pages is where I choose to vent in these pages is where I choose to put my innermost thoughts. Um, a lot of times because, um, you know, and I write it like this, this way, because I either don't care to return to those thoughts and, or I don't care for other people to read my thoughts. You know, um, I am pretty much an open book. And if I want to, you know, if I want you to know something, I'll tell you, <laughs> but this is where I keep my innermost thoughts. Um, I choose to, like in my Fobonichis and stuff, I choose to just um, be uh, positive and try to be, um, you know, uplifting for myself, you know, just to bring positivity to my life. So um, here are some other books. This is like a junk journal that I made a few years ago. And this um, started out, boy, when did I start? I started this in 2014 and it's made from a recycled book. And in here holds, um, a lot of different ideas and such that I've gotten offline and on YouTube. And so I put samples and I put where I got the information from and, um, all of that kind of stuff. So that's what's in here. 
you know, what types of pens work or these are like color swatches, things like that. Um, different ideas that I've gotten again and where I got them from. Um, so yeah, oh, there's a colored circle by Cat Hand that I learned way back in 2014. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I use um, that one for. Um, let me see. This one here is another faith-based one. Again, it's made out of a recycled book. And this just shows, you know, just different things, uh, faith-based, you know, that I've done. Um, you know, practicing lettering, doing, you know, just various things. Whoops, there's an address. Hope that didn't show. Um, you know, tangles and drawings and things like that. Um, and, you know, more lettering and things like that. So that's what I use this one for. Again, I don't work in it every day, but I have it um, when I do, you know, feel like working in it. And then this, of course, is my Fobonichi that I'm using now for this month of July and August. Um, and you've seen most of these pages. These are um, what I do for... Let me scoot this over. So these are like, you know, what I do for my Fobonichi. And, um, you know, there I do put good things. I put bad things. I put, you know, I just don't like pour my heart out into this book. This book is more reserved for the daily occurrences. And I love the, you know, journaling and decorating. I just have a lot of fun with it. It brings me happiness. So... I think that when you're thinking about journaling um, and the way you want to journal or the type of journal you want to keep, it just all depends on you. It depends on what your purpose is. It depends on what you want to do. It's your journal. So if you want to do a journal that's all writing, go for it. If you want to do a journal that is, you know, decorated, go for it. Um, I have other journals where I keep, you know, my husband's love letters in. I have a journal for that. I have art journals. I have um, collage journals. I have a whole slew of journals. But um, this is my most favorite journal. And um, because I just, I love just the creative outlet uh, and writing down memories. That's the purpose of this book for me. And that's what I enjoy doing the most. So, um, there's that journal. And then this one here is a faux dory that I had that I used the first six months of this year. And, um, you know, I was trying something different out. It's hard to kind of see, you know, so I have pages that look like that. Um, pages that look like that. So, yeah, just different things, you know, pages that look like that, that I put some of the photocopies of some of the faces I had drawn in. Um, and this is more like the, well, this is what I used for my Fobonichi at the beginning part of the year. So I have six months in these books here. Um, so I have six months in these books here, and then I went back to doing my regular type of Fobonichi. Um, and again, I just kind of wanted to come on and um, just show some of the different journals. Somebody had asked um, if they could see some of my other journals. And um, so I decided to show you some of my other journals. But I also wanted just to come on and let y'all know that the Fobonichi is not the only way to journal. It is the journal that I most enjoy doing. Um, I, you know, like I said, I really have a passion for this type of journaling. That's just me. But, um, you know, you can journal any which way you want. You can use any book you want. You can only write in it. You can, you know, uh, express yourself by collage in um, a journal. There are so many different ways to journal and different ways of expressing yourself. And it's really just up to you um, in how you want to do it and how you want to journal um, and, you know, write about your life. I think it's important to journal. I wish that uh, I had instilled in my own children the desire to journal about their daily events. 
Um, I wish that my mother and my grandmother had journaled because now they're no longer with us. And, uh, you know, I, I don't have the memories of my, I mean, I have memories of my mother, obviously, but I don't have her memories. I don't, I don't have stories about how she grew up. I don't, you know, only what's in my mind, you know, and, um, of course I can write those things down now and, um, keep them, but, um, yeah, I just, it's so important to write things down. I really just can't stress it enough. And I said, I think in my very first video that, uh, you know, some people have, uh, you know, thoughts of, well, what am I going to write about? You know, my life is boring. Well, you know, I'm here to tell you that once you write something down, the ordinary does become extraordinary. And um, I just really can't emphasize my feelings toward journaling and how much <laughs> I enjoy doing it. I hope that comes across um, my passion for this type of journaling. Uh, but again, this isn't the only type of journaling. You just pick up a book and start writing, you know, and whatever works for you. And, uh, yeah. Uh, and, and they'll, they'll be around forever. You know, you'll, you'll, well, not like forever, but you know what I'm saying? You know, this is just something that one day is going to hopefully, you know, be picked up and, you know, or my kids are going to read them later and say, you know, oh, wow, that's how she felt. Or that's what we were doing that day. Or, wow, I remember that boating trip. Or, oh, that was so fun. You know, it's just a way of keeping track of memories so that they're written down. Um, like I said, I really wish my mom had done that. I, I would love to have had a stack of journals that I could just sit and read through, um, see her handwriting again. Um, you know, imagine her laughter and, and imagine her smile and all of those things. So I just think it's really important to journal. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too here and there, but, um, yeah, just wanted to point that out and hope y'all are having a great day. Thanks a lot for watching.